Studio Classroom is Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Studio Classroom on the Air. It is great to have you with us today. My name is Gabe. And I'm Anne Marie. I have a question to start us off with today, but I'm afraid it's a little bit odd. An odd question? In what way? Well, it's a little bit awkward. Okay, anyway, here goes. Have you ever had plumbing issues? Plumbing? Well, now that's an interesting idea that deals with the pipes and other related systems in your building. Um, actually, yeah, I, and I can understand why I think you might think it's awkward to talk about this because a lot of plumbing issues have to do with the toilet, right? Exactly. A lot of people might not want to talk about that. Well, the toilet does get clogged up sometimes, right? Um, but usually with a plunger, it kind of, you know, the problem is solved. However, there are some more serious plumbing issues. Like recently, our kitchen sink has been leaking and we're really not sure why. Oh, that sounds like a pretty serious problem. It is. In fact, you know, um, our landlord is not sure who to hire because it's going to be a pretty expensive job because they have to chip into the wall and get to the pipe that's inside the wall and oh. repair that. So yeah, that's uh, a plumbing issue that we're dealing with right now. What about you, Anne-Marie? I actually dealt with a plumbing issue in my kitchen a few weeks ago. Um, it was a really bad time because our kitchen sink got clogged, but we had people coming over later that day and we had a lot of dishes to do. Mm. And we actually had to call a plumber and he found that a rubber straw had gone down our drain and was stuck and was clogging our kitchen sink. It was a rubber string or straw, you a said? A straw. A straw. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad it was that simple. I mean, yeah. you know, he but didn't have to... it was still expensive to have oh. him come out to the house. Oh, yeah, they can be expensive. If there's a way to avoid that, I guess don't put rubber straws down your sinks, friends. <laughs> well, there is a reason we're talking about plumbing problems, and it has to do with our lesson today. We'll be talking about plumbing sewage and the pipes that make up... A City's, City's Hidden, Hidden Network. Network. Are you ready to begin, friends? Today is a great day to learn something new. So let's do that together. A City's Hidden Network. What is unseen is as important as what is seen. Far below every town and city lies an invisible network of pipes crucial to the lives of their residents. Once water disappears down a drain or toilet, people rarely think about what happens to it. It's out of sight, out of mind. The water flows into a maze of pipes that carries excess rainwater, wastewater, and solid waste away, keeping the city clean. There are three main types of sewers. Sanitary sewers, storm sewers, and combined sewers. Taiwan has both sanitary and storm sewers, where rainwater and sewage are collected using different pipes. Hi everyone, welcome to Language Lab. I'm Jack. Invisible 这个形容词，它的意思是看不见的、隐形的。譬如 ，Dylan's house is invisible from the street because it is surrounded by trees. 在街上看不见 Dylan 的房子，因为都被树木包围了。或者是 ，There are many stars in the sky that are invisible to us. 天空中有许多星星是我们看不见的。再举个例句。The mark the black ink left on the table is almost invisible since Mona cleaned it. Mona 清洁桌上那个黑色墨水痕迹后，现在几乎看不见了。接下来看 excess 这个形容词，它的意思是过度的或是过多的。譬如 
there was a lot of excess water after we filled the glasses, so we used it to make coffee. 我们倒完杯子里的水后，还有多余的水就拿来煮咖啡。Excess 也可以当名词哦，意思是过量或是过剩。譬如 ，There is an excess of overpaid actors in Hollywood. 好莱坞有过多片酬超额的演员。片语 in excess of 的意思是超过。例如。Susan made in excess of one million dollars last year. Susan 去年的收入超过一百万美元 Okay, let's get back to our teachers. Thank you so much, Jack. Friends, we just want to remind you to check out our Instagram channels, our YouTube channel. Our Instagram is sc dot hosts, and YouTube is the Kong Zhong English Jiao Si Zha Zi official channel. You could find different things there. Well, let's talk about this. A city's hidden network. What is unseen is as important as what is seen. Well, Anne Marie, that sounds like that statement. Could be true about many things in life, right? Yeah, that's true. What is seen is as important as what is unseen. Or what is unseen is as important as what is that's seen. That's right. I、yeah. guess that's true about people, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. What's underneath, what's in the heart, is just as important as what's on the outside, or maybe even more important. It kind of makes me think of motives or someone's motivation for doing some something,、um, because a lot of people are doing great things in the world.、Um, Are you doing great things because you genuinely care about people, or so that other people will notice the good things that you're doing? That's just one example of a motive that might be unseen that people won't really know about unless they tell you themselves. That's right. Well, here in our lesson, we're talking about sewage and water and. Flushing the toilet. When you flush the toilet, you don't really think about what happens next. It's out of sight, out of mind. That's a phrase that we wanted to talk about today. Out of sight, out of mind. This is a phrase、uh, that we use to express when someone feels、uh, maybe they don't have any feelings for somebody or something if they can't see that person or thing, or they don't think about it at all.、Uh, I often use this phrase when talking about people. For example,、um, if someone has left your company, do you stay in touch with that person, and are they still your friend, or is it kind of out of sight, out of mind? And that means you're only interacting with the people who are still around you in your life. That is a good way to use this phrase. Another way that I like to use it is talking about messes. You know, my kitchen door at home has a door on it. Well, the kitchen has a door on it, and I like that because if there's a mess in the kitchen, I can close the door. And the mess is out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> so basically, the mess is still there. You still have to deal with the mess, but now you don't have to think about it because the door is closed. Exactly,、right? out of sight, out of mind. Well, is there any situation where you could use this phrase, friends? Out of sight, out of mind, and it's true when it comes to thinking about,、um, you know, whatever happens with your sinks or toilets. After you take a shower or after you go to the bathroom, we don't think about what happens with what goes through the pipes, right? It says that people rarely think about it. Like, do you ever think about it, Anne Marie? Not really, unless I have some type of plumbing issue. That's when I do start to think about it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, we see here the water flows into a maze of pipes that carries excess rainwater. Wastewater and solid waste away, keeping the city clean. And I really like the way that the lesson describes these pipes because it could just say that there are a lot of pipes down there, but it's a maze of pipes. We see this type of metaphor here because it really does look like a maze too. It does. Have you ever done one of those paper mazes before, where you start at one end and you try to get the line all the way to the other end? Sometimes it can be really hard to find your way or what path you should take, and that's kind of the idea here too. There are so many pipes; it seems like a maze. Well, I'm glad that civil engineers know what they're doing with these pipes. We see here a couple of words: sewers, sanitary sewers, storm sewers. There's different types of sewers in the sewage system, right? We're going to learn more about this later, but right now, let's go to today's info cloud. Hi, friends. Welcome to today's program. 
We're so glad you're joining us here on InfoCloud. We absolutely are. Today's phrase on InfoCloud is, well, there are actually two phrases. The first phrase is to go with the flow. Rex, are you a person who likes to go with the flow? Go with the flow. So you're asking whether I am normally relaxed and can accept a situation rather than trying to change or always control it? Yes, that's right, Rex. Hmm, yes, I'd say I often go with the flow or am a team player and try to be flexible with things. Well, that's great. It's certainly a lot better than always going against the flow, right? Exactly. To go against the flow simply means the opposite. To do or say the opposite of what most people are doing or saying. For example, Charles is difficult to manage. It seems like all his ideas go against the flow. Or another one. It isn't hard to motivate the students. They're always up for an adventure and just go with the flow. Oh, good one, Rex. Well, friends, do you like to go with the flow or do you like to challenge those around you by going against the flow? 每个人的个性不同,有些人为人处事喜欢 go with the flow. 也有些人喜欢 go against the flow. 首先, go with the flow就是顺其自然 Flow就是水流 当你顺流而行 做起事情来会比较有弹性 不会有无谓的坚持跟旁边的人也很和乐融融 当你go against the flow 逆流而上 那就会跟旁边的人有些冲突 人员可能不会太好 Charles is hard to manage because he's always going against the flow. Charles is a very difficult person because he does things with others. Go with the flow or go against the flow are all good and bad. How to do it is required. This is our Info Cloud today. We'll see you next time. Good luck. Welcome back to Studio Classroom. Our lesson is called A City's Hidden Network. We are talking about sewers and sewage today. Toilets, wastewater, solid waste. We're having a great time. It may be out of sight, out of mind for you, but in developed countries, it's always there. That's right. And earlier we learned that there's a maze of pipes underneath our streets. And how do they function? like a city's veins. Let's find out more about that now. A city's hidden network. This sewer system functions as a city's veins. Water containing human and industrial waste is collected in sanitary sewers and conveyed to sewage treatment plants, the heart of the sewer system where waste is treated. There, the solid waste is separated from the water, which is then purified before being released back into the environment. It will be reused for industrial, agricultural, or environmental purposes, or to produce energy. Furthermore, the sludge and gas from sewage treatment can be used to produce energy. They not only contribute to a healthy environment, and good quality of life, but also achieve the goal of sustainable development. How? Jesha like can purify Jagadongsi, that is a shi chunjing or shi jing hua. Piru, you need to purify any water before you drink it. 在饮用任何的水之前，都要先将水洁净过。或者是 ，those plants really helped to purify the air in this tiny room。这些植物真的有助于净化这个小房间里的空气。再举一个例句 t 
the group used water purifying tablets to make the water safe when they were traveling in the jungle. 这个团队在丛林中旅行时使用了净水药片来让饮水安全。最后来看 sludge 这个名词，在课文里呢是指淤泥的意思。譬如 ，sludge from the sewers has been entering the ocean at alarming rates. 下水道的污泥以惊人的速度流入海洋里去，或者是。We saw many fish caught in the sludge at the bottom of the river that was drying up. 我们看到许多鱼被困在快要干涸的河床泥浆里。再举个例句 ，Since Maria hadn't changed the oil in her car for more than two years, it was like sludge. Maria 因为两年多没换车子的机油了，所以油箱底部像油泥一样。Okay, let's get back to our teachers. Thank you so much, Jack. We're sorry that you had to talk about sludge there, and friends, we're going to talk about it again in a minute. But we read here the sewer system functions as a city's veins. Now, earlier、uh, we saw the word maze and how the sewage system is kind of compared to a maze, or the pipes are compared to a maze. Now we see the system is like the city's veins. Here's another metaphor because veins are part of our bodies, right? They carry our blood to and from our heart. And、uh, we've taught about the difference between veins and arteries before. To know the difference, here's an easy way to remember: veins end with that, those letters I N. That means it's carrying the blood back into the heart, and arteries carry the blood away from the heart. That's right. And speaking of heart, we are going to see that word in the next sentence. Water containing human and industrial waste is collected in sanitary sewers and conveyed to sewage treatment plants. And those are the heart of the sewer system. And I kind of have to wonder if our writers use that phrase, the heart of, on purpose, because we were just talking about veins. What does it mean if something is the heart of something else? Yeah, that means it's the most central aspect to something, or the most important part of something. All right. Well, we find out that at the heart of the sewer system,、um, the solid waste is separated from the water, and it's then purified before being released back into the environment. All right. Let's talk about this idea of releasing something back. Okay. Well, if you've contained something, or if you've received something, you can keep it. Maybe you can do something with it. But、uh, companies like you know the government are doing something with our sewage, and they're、uh, not just Keeping it or putting it somewhere else, they're finding a way to get it back into the environment. So they're releasing it back into the environment. I can never hear this phrase without thinking about animals.、Yeah. Like if an animal has been taken in to a rescue center and it's been taken care of, nursed back to health, it's then released back into the wild. So after something is done with it, it's、mm-hmm. put back where it came from. Okay, and this idea is a little bit surprising to me, I guess, for our lesson because when I think about Sewage, and I think about waste. I do think, okay, well, once you know we're done with it and it's flushed out and it's gone somewhere, perhaps it's just gone somewhere like in the ground or、um, out to the oceans, right? Oh yeah. So it's nice to know that the government is actually doing something with the waste in a way that it can actually get purified. And then、um, there could be a good use for it later. That's right, and that key point there in our lesson is the fact that the waste is treated. So if you treat something, that means that you're doing something to it first、um, to change it. So it's not that it's just being released back into the oceans or anything like that.、Right. It's being treated first. That's right, treated, or the other word is purified. Right? I'm very happy about this. Now, this will be used or reused for industrial, agricultural, or environmental purposes, or to produce energy. Okay, the sludge from gas from sewage sewage treatment can be used to produce energy, and we also find out in the last sentence the idea of. Sustainability, right? Because we hope that、uh, the goal is for these things to be sustainable. Now, if something is sustainable, that means it's a practice that you can do from now on until forever, right? And it's going to be okay for the environment. 
something that might not be sustainable might be a temporary solution for something until you can find a solution that is sustainable. That's right. Well, we saw a few words in our lesson earlier, industrial, agricultural, environmental. These all remind me of things that I learned about in school. So let's talk about some school subjects right now. What is your favorite subject in school? Biology. It's fascinating and I love animals. I hope to become a vet someday. That's good. What is your most challenging subject? Math. I really struggle with algebra and geometry. I barely passed my midterm last week. I understand. I've never liked math. Thankfully, I don't need to take it this year as I'm taking the arts track for the National University Entrance Exam. I hope to study journalism in university. You're lucky. I'm on the science track, so I have to keep taking math. Tom has a good math tutor. Maybe Tom can introduce you. Having a good tutor might help you pass your math class. That's a good idea. I'll text Tom later. Subject. Subject. Biology. Biology. Algebra. Algebra. Geometry. Geometry. Arts track. Arts track. Well, since we're talking about the sewage system, let's talk about some sewage related terms, perhaps some expressions or idioms or phrases that we have in English that use some of these kinds of terms. What's one that comes to your mind, Anne-Marie? Well, the one that I wanted to share about first was the term to have a potty mouth. Ooh. A potty mouth is when your language or the things you talk about is a little bit dirty or not always appropriate. So you could say, oh, he has a potty mouth or watch your potty mouth. Uh, that's true. It's not good to have a potty mouth. Um, but yeah, you can use it to describe somebody who often uses dirty language, right? Um, well, another one I thought of was to go down the toilet. Of course, you know what usually goes down the toilet, but the idea here with this phrase is that something started out maybe okay, but after a while it's not been successful and maybe it disappeared completely. Like maybe someone's job or someone's reputation, right? His reputation started out okay, but after a while he did something and it went down the toilet. You could say this of, for example, a company's sales as well. In the third quarter, our sales really went down the toilet. Okay, I have one more phrase that I want to talk about here, and that is to get your mind out of the gutter. Now this usually is something that's said after someone has said something off color or inappropriate. It means they're thinking dirty thoughts or maybe inappropriate thoughts. And so you could tell them after you hear them say that, hey, get your mind out of the gutter. And this kind of reminds me of that first phrase we we're talking about because often what people say is just a reflection of what they're thinking about, right? Yeah, <laughs> so, that's right. <laughs> so if you've got a potty mouth, then maybe you need to get your mind out of the gutter as well. And that's where it starts, right? Or in the heart. Okay, well, that's all the time that we have for today. Those are just some fun phrases for you to know. Think of some other ways to use them or maybe think of some situations where you could use them. But we'll see you tomorrow for another lesson right here on Studio, Studio Classrooms. Classroom. A good friend lasts a lifetime. I am so proud to have you in my life. A good friend lasts a lifetime.